So basically B2, uh, level 2, week 2, we're still working on those body uh, awareness skills. So for this one I'm going to use my own dog because I don't really want to spend uh, quite, a amount of time, uh, quite a bit of time uh, just teaching Mozzie to put his feet on the stool. My dog can already do it and he's familiar with this exercise. So this is kind of a, a shortcut for this video. So I need my dog. Line cut. Good girl. Can you target? So, what we're looking for on this video is that she can keep her front paws placed on the stool, but I want her to move only her bucket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step towards the bucket, and as I do, you'll see she will move her back end, but keep those front feet on the stool. Yes. Good. You need to practice it both ways. Yes. So you reward every tiny bit of movement. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Okay. Makes the beautiful, um, yes, good girl, pivots because, okay, go find it. Because they learn if they're there, and if you put your hand there, I don't know what to do. Right up. She should, must come to the stall. She should pivot to my side. Yeah, I thought, yes. She's not going to do it now. So I'm going to move. Oh, I'm here. Yes. See how she swung her back end around? No, not at all. <laughs> here. Yes. See how she's bringing her back end in? It's probably not the best angle for the camera. Okay. So I want her to pivot to my side. Yes. So she again. Her back, end, her back end was doing all the work while the front end was um, standing still. Okay, go find it. Uh, so the more um, you can get this kind of body awareness in, the better those beautiful straight line sits will be and the pivots will be. The reason being your dog may have four legs, but unless you do body awareness exercise with them, they will not know how to use their back end um, so this is an excellent one for um, getting them to use their rear end. And just um, last week, we introduced the uh, just put. He's in trouble. Lila, just put in your hand on their shoulder. Yes, click and treat it. Okay. Now this week you should start. Yes. Starting to move the hand further away, and what should be happening is they should be moving into your shoulder. So hand further away. See how she's moving in. Um, takes a lot of practice, and I have to admit I've only done it on the one side with her. But I want her to keep moving as in whatever direction my hand is. I want straight lines. It's because I've got treats in my hand, it doesn't really help it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everything but what I mean. But you should be at the stage now. You put well the week before you're putting your hand on their body, click and treat it, move your hand just a little bit further away. They should be moving their body so they end up pressing into your hand. Okay? Good girl. Go find it.